Hi, it's CS2014. I'm George from Corsair. Talk about some of our new cases. This is the Obsidian Series 250D. It's our first Mini ITX case. We wanted to go after uh, Mini ITX because it's finally possible to build a really good high performance system in a small form factor without making a lot of sacrifices. So that's what 250D is. It's the idea of taking kind of no compromise. You don't have to use some kind of crappy power supply or other parts. You can use full size GPU, full size water cooler. You can put a full size power supply in there and get it all taken care of. It follows the Obsidian design standpoint with the aluminum fascia, easy fan filter replacement right here, USB 3 on the front panel with the power and reset, and an optical drive bay cover here that you can remove and put an optical drive there, or you can put like a bay reservoir or something like that, fan controller. Every one of these panels comes off because we wanted to make it easy to use the case and easy to build it, but we didn't want one of these kind of C-shaped covers that's really hard to get applied again. Each one of these panels comes off easily, usually, and this is the dust filter that is magnetic on this. Comes off the other side as well. On this side, you have a two by 120 mount that you can put a 240 millimeter radiator like the H100i. Uh, and then on this side here, the vent is for your GPU. This is where your PSU uh, goes down here on the bottom. You can see that there's plenty of room in front of the PSU for a full length. From a cooling perspective, you have a front 140 millimeter fan. It's an AF140L design with a high airflow uh, with a finger guard and uh, cable guard so that you can't accidentally break the blades. This will fit up to a 200 millimeter fan here or down to a 120. On this side, you can put two 120s. And in the back, we put two little 80 millimeter mounts for those guys who really like 80 millimeter fans. Two expansion slots. And then for hard drives, we have two three and a half inch or two and a half inch combo drive bays and two two and a half inch only uh, drive bays. They're accessed here from the back with a little cover that goes over that. And then in front, you run your cables down here out of the airflow path. So the idea behind this case is you can build a really solid system. And in a second, I'm going to show you one that we've built up over here. Uh, this optical drive bay cover can be removed completely with the removal of four screws. And other than that, it's a nice little compact system capable of building a really elegant and small form factor PC. So like I mentioned earlier, this is a built version of the 250D. We have an H100i liquid cooler in here, a full length graphics card, and an Asus Mini ITX board. You can see on the side here, we've got room for a large power supply. Right now we have an RM, I believe it's a 650, and no, an RM750 power supply in there. It's about 180 millimeters long. Uh, you could easily fit a 200 millimeter long power supply in here. We know that a lot of people aren't actually gonna install a 200 millimeter long power supply, like a 1,000 watt or 1,200 watt power supply in their mini ITX system. They certainly aren't gonna buy one for that purpose. But a lot of people don't just buy everything new every time. So some guys may wanna go mini ITX, but they have to worry about, do I have to buy a new power supply for it? Do I have to buy new this, new that? This allows you to take whatever power supply you currently have in your system, shove it into mini ITX and just buy a new motherboard, and that'll take care of it. Um, this is a really good little form factor, as you can see on the side, with the H100i installed. You get plenty of airflow right out of here. And then with the side panels that have the dust filter I mentioned before, you can easily decide if you want to take that off for better airflow for exhaust, or if you're turning these fans into intakes, you might want to keep that dust filter on so you can gather dust to keep it out of the system. So that's the 250D built up. Hope you guys like it. $89, available in late January uh, and early February, depending on where you are.